what i will do i will pass only one name okay then where is the roll number so what i want to design a function in such a way that if someone doesn't enter their roll number i want to keep it by default zero now with this what you are able to do can you tell me two arguments are required you are giving only one still this is valid two arguments are there you gave two valid will this work yes check what will happen for the name ravi you said roll number should be this so it took that roll number for the name sinjana you didn't give the roll number so what's the default value zero so with this what you are able to do varying number you can send two are required but you can send one if the same thing you could have done here here is there any default value given no then if two are there that means you should send two only else it will give an error but here there are two you gave one it's not an error why because one value you made default already so ravi will get collected here what will be the roll number always will the default value print no if you give the value it will take that value if you don't give the value it will take the default value are you understand are you understanding so this is first type default argument function that means the formal argument sorry the local arguments you will give a default value this is default argument are you clear is this point clear yes ma'am okay now coming to one more now what if i want to make this as default and this as varying is that possible is that possible yes yes i want to make this as default i want to keep this as varying the other way i want to do let's check will it work check now i want to make the name to be default always and let the roll number be like this roll number should be passed right is this valid observe what will happen ravi can go here that means first argument will go to first argument only 34 will go here first time it is valid for this one it is valid how about this you gave a number will it understand that number means it should go here only only one argument if you pass it will always go to the first argument only so what will it give what it says it throws you a syntax error what it says non default argument means this one follows default argument this is following this not possible so only this is possible that means default argument can follow non default but non default argument cannot follow default so there is a syntax error think here itself 12 you gave how will it know that 12 should get collected here only how will it know here i gave a string what if here also there was only a number then you wanted to collect number only then how will it understand it should go to the second one no first one will always go to the first one only then there is second one not possible second one doesn't have a default value so here itself it will show an error saying non default cannot follow default this is possible this is not possible so here it is an error ma'am because of uh, 
Int data type or like uh, order sequence of order. order sequence only, not because of data type. Order sequence only. Comma. Okay. Comma. Yes, because of order. Like this. It will not even go here. Here itself in the definition again it will say error. Here only it will throw error. It's not even going to the second line. When it is interpreting in this line only there is an error. So it is not going ahead. Syntax is only wrong. If syntax is only wrong, how will it interpret? So here only there is an error. Means we cannot never like uh, give any default value to first parameter. No, you cannot. If it will be more than two parameter, then also? Then also. Always non-default should be first. Then all the defaults you write. Okay. Like that. First, always non-default should be written. So that you pass or not, it, it will make a difference. Then you should write the default parameters. So that's the point. With respect to the first type, what you are actually doing here? Uh, in the function definition sum parameters and be made default. Some parameters all also you can make, but if you make all there's no meaning. And here you need to keep in mind default parameters should follow non-default. This is the rule. That means non default parameters follow the default ones just that's your first type Default argument means what? In the definition, you are making some parameters default. That way. That means here you cannot change this order. Always default one should be at the end. Okay, let's check for take another three variables and check. What we'll do? We'll take some other definition. Something. We'll take three. In course, I will say the module is we'll not take this as module. module one because module is a concept so I cannot use that name then number of modules are or we say number of modules required I'm printing it in number okay I will take this from user what I'll do I will send the name, course name. Yes, I okay. Then
and I'll leave the number. We'll see what will happen. So I have given the name as MES IoT. I want C first. And then I want uh, some 10 modules to be there. Then I want this course. I don't want, I my module itself should be Python. I will give a number. Uh, maybe I want uh, eight modules. Will this work? Logically, what will happen? You think MES IoT, it will go here. C will go here. 10 will go here. But what is happening here? What you are doing? In the first line, this looks normal because three are there. Three you are passing. Come to the second line. You are passing FSPD. It will come here. You pass the number. Will it go here? It will try to go here only. I'm not talking because of the data type. So what we have made a mistake here. What we are doing? Non-default is following a default. That means this is not valid again. So you need to keep maybe number five. Um, okay. D will keep. Now there is non-default. Rest all are defaults. Valid? Yes. yes. So MES IoT, yes. You don't want Python, so it goes as C. You want 10, so it will be 20. Here, what will happen? Second and third. Now, what will happen? Think what will happen. Name will be MES IoT. Where will it go? It will go as a module. If you don't give both, If you don't give both, only name will go as FSGD, rest to default. Now with this, what will happen? 8 will go as module 1. So here I am talking about now data type. That means if you have given here uh, string, that doesn't mean you should pass a string only. We'll check. It's working as of now. It's working. Is it working? Yes. But it is not taking on a default default. default what is happening? What I have done there? I have written a print statement. I have not called the function. I wrote a print statement. It's not calling a function. I have to call like this, no? Then it will go as argument. I have written by mistake print function. Hmm. Now tell me. What is this? This is function call. It's working. Is it working? Okay. Now we'll see what it is saying. Hmm. Now check. So first time you are calling, what's the name? First argument goes as MES IoT. You have passed second argument, so it goes as module. You have passed third argument also, so it goes as number. So what it will print? First time MES IoT C 10. MES IoT C 10. Now second time what will happen? FSPD, what it will print here? 8 it will print and number 20 it will print that's what is happening here so that means here if you have initialized it to string doesn't mean you should give string only okay third time fsd 20 So with this, what you are able to do with default because you are taking default types, even though there are three, 
you can pass three or two or one. That means you can change the number of arguments. Changing the number of arguments means what? Variable argument. So you can achieve it this way. If you don't use default method and then pass, it will show error. Like here, normal. You are not making default any of the arguments. Here two are there. That means you should pass two only. Not more, not less. But with this, what you are able to do? Here there are three. But you can pass three or two or one. Possible. So that means with this one type of function, which type? Default argument type. You can pass variable number of arguments. There are three, but you can pass three or two or one like that. Clear? Any doubt? Now tell me. I'll just write the DF definition. You should tell me is it valid or no? Nothing else. Is this a valid definition? Is it a valid definition? Why no? Huh? Why no? Why are you saying no? F can have a list, no. Like here, how it has a number, here it has a string, it can have anything. It can have any value. First two are non-default. Third one is default. Possible? Yes. So that means when you call the function, minimum how many arguments you should pass? Minimum two you should pass. Maximum three you can pass. Minimum two you should pass now. If you don't pass two, what will happen? Suppose you try to pass one only. Then 23 will go here. What will be E? It will throw error. F is anyhow there. So you can have to pass minimum minimum 2. Maximum 3 again. That's the meaning. That means this is valid. Valid. Minimum. How many you should pass? Minimum 2 parameters you should pass ring call you should pass so i'll just come in this line. rest type you know if there are three two can be default first will be non default but keep in mind always default should be default one should follow non default this is not possible here it is non default it is following default not valid. That's a error. Okay. Now, next type is what if you make everything default? What if you make everything default? Okay, like for example, I'll take it before going to the next type. I made everything default. What's the use? I can simply call the function. I mean, if you make everything default, you can only call the function. You can pass zero arguments also. But this is not the actual use. I'm just saying, if you make everything default, then you can call a function without argument. It will work. It will have all the defaults at the end. I called it at the end. Correct? 
but what is the actual usage of making everything default not here while sending we'll try to understand that that we call it as keyword argument function that's your second type first type is clear to everyone which is default argument where you are making default in the definition you are making default now what i will do while sending i'll give default values that means in the call i will give default values what will happen then wait we'll check i will take the same one not here i am making default here i'll make i will say module 1 should be fspd name should be sorry module 1 should be maybe advanced python name should be fspd number should be number of modules 15 what do you observe i made in the calling i gave the default values this we call it as keyword argument type keyword means what you are saying module 1 should have this that means will this go here it will go to module 1 only name you are saying it should be fspd that means it will go to name only number you are saying 15 that means it will go to number only with this what you are able to do you are able to change the order of arguments passing the same if you are doing here what was happening if you pass 8 first 8 will go here only 8 won't go here but here what you are able to do with this way what way keyword argument method where while calling the function itself you are giving the values it is making it is helping us that you can change the order you are able to change the order yes or no module 1 you say this that means this will go only here name it will go only here number it will go only here that means with this method you can change the order of sending the argument that's an advantage that's your second type and change the order of pass the arguments what is this method actually um in function call arguments are passed by assigning the values by assigning the values the assigning the values to the with the same name as that in definition same names you are using so only it will work module 1 means you should use module 1 only then only it will work if you use some other name then this will work or no it will work even though you change the order it will get collected there itself why here only you are saying name should be fspd that means where is name here so fspd will get collected here that's the meaning now what we'll do other than this some other name will take we'll see what will happen
write like this. Then we'll say what it says. Type error. Type error. What it says? Course got an unexpected keyword. Where is module two? Not there. So it will say it got an unexpected keyword. So it throws an error. Type error. So this is another situation where you get a type error. It says unexpected keyword argument. Yes. So here during function call there is an error. What's the error? We'll just write the error. Or okay, we'll write the error only here. We'll write. Arguments name first error says unexpected keyword argument. Word argument. Clear. Clear this much? Okay, now we'll do something. It's not actually any of the type, just an example. You need to tell me what kind of function is that? Is it the default one or is it keyword? I'll just write some function. What type is it? Is it valid? I have done keyword also. I have done default also. For default type, I have followed the rule. What is the rule? Default word should be at the end. That I followed. Uh, for keyword type, we have an advantage that I can change the order. I have changed it. So is this valid? First, you need to tell me. Bo I mean, combination of first two. Is it valid or not? Will it work this way? We'll go with the law. Lo logically, we'll think. Module one will have advanced Python. Name will have FSPD. Number will have 12. We'll see. Works. It will work. Combination will work. But you need to follow its rule. You need to follow its rule. It will work. Okay. Another example. Tell me if this works. What I'm doing again a combination. First one, module one, it will go here. Will this go here? Is the question. And any of default is default. 
Will this go on itself here? That's the question. If it goes, that means it's valid. If not, what it says? See the error. Positional argument follows keyword argument. That error is because of this. That means this also has a prototype to be followed. How here? Non keyword, I mean, non default has to be followed by default. Non default should be first, then this. So here there is an error. This is okay. You followed the default method. Here there is an error. What is it? This needs to actually come in the first place, but you gave it in second place. So this is a positional argument. It's not keyword argument. Keyword argument is here. So all the positional arguments should be first always. Check here. Was there any positional argument? No, both were keywords. So that was valid. But here what is happening? Positional argument is following a keyword argument. That's not valid. So here there is an error. So what's the rule here? Positional, positional arguments should be followed by no no we'll write it other way. Argument so positional argument. This implies additional arguments not follow the keyword arguments. That's the meaning. Here, this is not valid. If you don't have a positional argument, write it however you want. Fine. But if there is a positional argument, it cannot follow keyword. Keyword can follow positional. That's the meaning. For that, I'll give one example. like this. That means keyword arguments can follow positional. Always. Or it can be like this also. MES and T. In module I want. No, that you know already. Nothing. Yes. You can do like this. Positional argument is followed by keywords. That's also possible. So what will happen? Number will be 10. Oh, sorry, FSPD will go here itself. Is there for a module name? Yes. Is there number? Yes. So it works. So this is valid again. Any doubts here? No doubts with the first two types. Default means you will give default values in definition. Keyword means you will give keywords uh, with the values in the calling. Different. I am talking about this.
Default means you will give values here. What is this? This is definition. Keyword means you will give values here. What is this? This is function call. You can have a combination also. That's extra. Next type. Arbitrary arguments. Now what is mean by arbitrary arguments is I'll write an example then you will understand. I write like this. Means what I'm doing, think. Uh, this is the third way, but is this valid? First, you need to tell me. Arbitrary argument function. Think is this valid? You are passing three, you are collecting in one. It is not assignment, think. It's passing and receiving. If it was assignment operator equal to, then in this it would get collected as a tuple, correct? Yes or no? Now pass. If, see, if you have like this, A equal to one comma five comma six, this is valid, no? A will be taken as a tuple form, default. Here also you may feel like that, like all these three will get assigned here. It may be possible like that, right? That means M1 may be all three of this, but are you assigning the value? No, you are passing, it will get collected here. It's not assigning the value. That means this is not valid. What it says? It gives an error saying course takes one argument, but three are given. But still with one method, it is possible. We'll simply write asterisk. You will use pointer like that. Here it's not called as pointer. You will just use asterisk. Now what will happen? M1 will hold entire thing in the form of tuple. See, I have printed uh, M1. What is M1? It's a tuple. Again, it's by default. But you cannot simply write M1. Then it will become an error. You need to use asterisk. So asterisk always says arbitrary arguments. That you need to keep in mind. Asterisk always says arbitrary, any number. That means for this now, you can pass here any number, pass one or two or three or four, any number. It will collect it here, simple. Ah, one, I'll take that. Are you understanding? All will get stored in M1 as what? As an element of tuple by default. It's by default. That's your arbitrary argument function. So what's arbitrary argument function? Any number of arguments can be passed function call provided in the
definition argument is of arbitrary type arbitrary type means with the asterisk so with this method what you are able to do there is no limit for the numbers you can pass any number all will get collected here and how it will get collected here collector will be by default apple object by default tuple it is going to be a tuple always yes okay online students any doubt here no ma'am okay what's your uh, you are saying something one integer okay fine okay. while passing here you are saying one integer one list ah, okay I will print here simply type of x only to know that it belongs to tuple and here I'll print what is x while calling I want you have to I have to pass one integer list huh? like this. it will get collected as tuple only every one element will be tuple element like that clear okay if this is clear you need to answer the question which i will give same one will do Total output I want. You can answer. <coughs> Total output. Exactly how it should print in shell. print the length of x i should write correct
Mm. Now it's complete. Start. Total output you write. What all it will be? Only last five minutes. Not what is there inside FN? OK. OK, if it prints, what all value will it print? Tell me that. Yes. First print statement will be a tuple. Print. Yeah. Type of X will be tuple. Mm. Value? It will give the total value. This much? Two functions. This much? Print x, it will give the total c value. Oh, yeah, it will give from here. Yes, uh, two, yes. four, four, six, the total value. This one? 
Yeah, prints. Uh, second line print tax will be total value of C. Okay. Third one. Length. One, two, three, four. Four. Length will be four. Four values are there. Correct. Then coming to second part, uh, print C, print C, same value as C. Hmm. Type. Type will be. Couple. Okay. Length. Length will be same for. This one. Length will be four and length of C3 will be. Which one? Length C will be four. This will be four. Okay. Length C. Uh, this one? Okay, this will be four. This one? Yes. Uh, that one. First, tell me in this which is C of three? Length you so tell me later. What is C of three? Yes, that one I am concerned. It's a tuple. So yes. its length will be 1, 2, 3. 3. C of 1. Which is C of 1? How much is the length? 3. 3. Now C of 1 will be 8. 8. Okay. C of 1. Now check where you have not understood. We'll go line by line. First one. OK. Now, first, it's a function definition. OK. Function definition is OK. It comes here. What is this? It's a function call. To the function, what all you are passing? Hmm. Function, so many arguments you are passing. How many? Four. One is integer, string, list, tuple. You are passing. Will it get collected here? Yes, because you have given an asterisk. So X will be what? By default, tuple form of all this together that means type will be tuple comes what is x it's tuple form so all the elements collected in tuple form this tuple is one element of the tuple list is one element of the tuple string is one element of the tuple tuple is collection of different types of elements then length count one two three four four while returning, what you are returning? Are you returning X? A tuple? List of, list of X. That means tuple you converted to list. Yes. Then you have returned. That means what will be C? List. It will be a list of all these elements. Here you may have made a mistake. Because while returning, you didn't return X alone. It's converted value you have returned. So C will be list. C, check. It's not as X, it's this is tuple, this is list. Then length of C, same. It won't change anyhow. 4, C of 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it is 3. Why type of C will be list? I'll say. Here it is converted, no? Okay, what is X? Yeah, you are not returning X, you are returning list. So. You are returning a list of X. Okay. That means it is getting converted and then sent. Yes. 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 List means what? It is a function that will convert X to list. 
in the float functions i had told you know in type conversion yes yeah those functions these are they will type convert to the that data type that means whichever type is x it will convert to list type now so entire this is x its list type means it will come like this its list tuple can be converted to list list can be converted to tuple they are interconvertible any doubt here last line last line there is a doubt length of c1 will be c1 got it this is 0 this is 1 so yes, yes, yes. this is 8 Yes, Pushpa. Okay. One. Two, you have written. Eight and here four you have written. Four, four correct. Eight to this two I think is wrong. This is correct, but this should be a. This is correct, but it should be put in tuple form. This is also you have directly written. It should be put in list form, and this won't get the. unpacked it will be packed only uh, so this is list 8 i think you have written for string 4 you might have written for length 2 there is not no nothing with two length it's 3 uh, it's because of this here there are 3 three it is 4 C1 is it? She has written it other way here and there. She has written it ulta. So there is nothing with two length. now coming to the last type all the types clear default type keyword type arbitrary type now last one is so here again there are some examples like default there is a example keyword there is one example arbitrary there is one example what is the last type it is arbitrary keyword so that means it's a combination of third and second arbitrary yeah. and keyword also we will think how it works arbitrary and keyword first we'll write both separately then we'll club both so let me take this one first we should let's write keyword type so here i'll say name oh sorry uh, module is keyword module name is keyword uh, this one then no one minute module one is this then i'll say module two is this and then i'm saying module three is this okay this is what type keyword type yeah this is keyword type now i have to write arbitrary type that means i will use asterisk here with this what will happen if you use an arbitrary type how the elements are all will get collected as tuple correct are the elements directly there they have equal to 
yes so someone has to individually hold this for which you will write double asterisk someone has to hold every element which is of equal to type correct for that one asterisk another asterisk is for there is only one object but there are multiple values arbitrary type now tell me how what will be m1 how will it look here it is equal to so how will m1 look if you print m1 and what is the type of that thing can say type of m1 if m1 is of tuple type can it hold equal to equal to type of elements can it hold if it is a list also it cannot hold but you can hold with one another type what is it dictionary, dictionary. in dictionary how are the pairs one is key one is value so is it not looking like a key and a value key yes. and a value key and a value so this will be by default dict type dictionary so one asterisk is because to hold the dictionary another asterisk is because it is arbitrary number there is only one to hold but how many you have passed three you have passed three you have passed in the form of pair so there are two asterisks so this itself is arbitrary keyword so what i printed i printed m1 m1 is looking like what it's a dictionary see how is dictionary represented while representation key colon value it's a dictionary type by default so while sending you are sending it as keyword type while receiving it is getting received as arbitrary type stores as dictionary it will get stored as dictionary so the function name is arbitrary keyword function yes any doubt see if you were having normally like this this way this type of arguments tuple can also be there Le uh, list can also get i mean list object can collect but here it is of equal to type which data type it is it is not any particular data type so it will get collected as key and value who can hold a key and value only dictionary can hold so it is by default dictionary type yes so here arbitrary last one arbitrary argument no arbitrary keyword combination of 2 and 3 and will be big doctor for this you need that's it now some questions on all the types i may give any type you need to recognize and tell me the type first and then the result of that here 
here my question is here how shall i print module 2 name can i print module 2 name how to print i have to print the answer as advanced python how to print Star M1 Wait. Print star M1 star M1 of one. Off means like this. Uh, I mean list or list way or tuple way. List. Okay. Like this. Okay. What I should write? One. Okay. This is one way. This is your way. Okay, uh, online student. What you are saying? Should I write star? Yes, I stick M one. Like this or square? Uh, core bracket. Flower bracket. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. I should write module two like this. Like this. Like this. You want to write? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hmm. Any other answer? And name is equal to one. print name which okay ha huh. i have to simply write module 2 like this you mean how should i name like this what is name no Dinesh, what you're saying? Print. M one. Like this, sir. first first one only there is error that means this is not correct okay, i'll just paste it here as of now why error i'll say we'll see now second one is it correct what it is saying module 2 is not defined that means this is also not right way third one module 2 is not defined that means this is also error okay now i'll say why error when you wanted to print the entire dictionary how did you print you simply wrote like this did you use star did you use star to print the dictionary m1 is already dictionary why you need star that means definitely here star won't come to print simply m1 you can use star no i mean you didn't use star m1 is already dictionary so that means definitely no star required m1 of 1 which method is this which operation is it tuple sorry list list operation i'm not asking the type if you write an object name and in front of that write the square and write inside is it not indexing indexing it's indexing method which is having zero index this one index 
correct to index will it print now maybe okay next what is this method this is definitely not right here what you are doing m1 you have taken what you are writing here key name you are writing can you access a dictionary with key name yes, yes. you can access now check what it is saying key error index key error 1 that means if you use a square brace you cannot write the indexing here in dictionary no indexing is there then how can you access so in dictionary when you are doing indexing you are not giving the number 0 1 2 you are using indexing method always with the key okay hmm that's how you uh, access here you cannot write 0 1 2 index won't be numbers index will be key always that means this will get identified with the key this will get identified with the key this will also get identified with the key if you have normal tuple or list like that uh, where it is output uh, okay if you normally write a what is this it's a tuple then you can access every element with the index number 0 1 2 index dictionary indexing means it's key only there is no 0 1 2 that's the meaning this you have learned no already in string tuple dictionary operations i asked you to do there it is there already you can access any element of the dictionary only with the key not with 0 1 to number index here will be always key clear now next is valid first tell me that which type is it which type function is this out of four types which type arbitrary type arbitrary type while you are thinking so much arbitrary type yes yes ha now is like this is it valid you tell me that first where from where i have taken from here how many arguments are here three three there is only one argument to receive and that too you have put star all three will get received there here how many are there three three you are passing two if you simply write like this it's an error i am using now like this is this possible or no yes sir yes possible ha huh, okay if possible it's possible What's the value of C? What is the value of M1? C will be first one. C will be first one. Hmm. M1 will be advanced Python class. Correct. It will be like this. So in normal function, that's what I was talking about. If you do like this, it's an error. Yes. If you write like this, it's not an error. here there are 3 here there are 
its variable number and the type is arbitrary type so first one will go here rest all will get collected here so this is which type now string type this is tuple by default Hmm. Valid. Yes, hmm? ma'am. Why wrong? Star. No. If there is star, means it can have one also. That means tuple will have one element. Possible, no? What will we see? Python type is str. V will be advanced Python type is str. M1 will be flask. What is the type? Tuple. Don't say because it is only one, it will become string. It's tuple only. See. Clear? Online students clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, last one. I mean, in this type, last one. First, tell me possible. If yes, what is C, what is V, what is M1? Not possible. Why? If you write like this, not possible. If you write like this, always there is advantage. That means it's possible, but what is M1? C and V will have Python, advanced Python. What is M1? C. I'm already saying if you write like this, it's error. If you write like this, it's not error. This indicates arbitrary. Arbitrary means what? Any number. Zero is any number or no? That means it can be zero, it can be one, it can be two, any number. That means what will be M1 now? Zero means empty list it will be. I'm talking about the number, not the value. Empty tuple, sorry, I mean, not list, empty tuple it will be. Simple. Arbitrary means any number. Any number means zero number can also be there. Zero number, not zero as a value. So it will be empty tuple. That is an advantage. Here there are three, you are passing two. Possible. Varying number again. If you write like this, not possible. It's an error. So this type has this advantage also. Here with this point. Everyone? Clear? Online students? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Um, What is the answer you need to tell me? First tell me which type. Which type? Which type? Arbitrary type. Star is there, it's arbitrary type. Possible? That means M1 will have all of this in tuple form. Here what you are doing? 
Tell me this first. What you are doing here? For loop in a model. Are you entirely printing the tuple? Did you print M1 directly? You are taking one iterating variable and trying to point it to M1. So what all, how it will print the values now? It will print only Python? All three, but how? Line by line. That itself is the basic usage of for loop. You can access the elements individually of string, of list, tuple, dictionary, anything. That's what I had said the other day. So that means it will print line by line now. Here. No doubts. So in this function concept, there is some more thing left. Like you have some other type of functions, not with this varying type. Names are there, direct names. That doesn't belong to this category. We'll understand it tomorrow. Like there is, okay, this is done, right? So tomorrow we'll understand a function called as lambda. Then we'll understand one inbuilt function called as map. Then another inbuilt called as filter and we'll understand recursive functions. Recursive function means what? So this much we'll understand tomorrow. Then we'll understand modules concept. Modules in Python, which is a next concept. So it's still in functions, four points are there. This will be next point, next concept in Python topic. Modules. Okay. So that we'll understand tomorrow now. In the tomorrow session. Today again what you should do in the lab hours. Whichever is your lab schedule time of Python. You need to practice all of this. You should be able to identify the function type which it is. Okay. So online students any doubt? So then till here, you just go through. See here that accessing type I have shown here. I mean, what I showed last, how to access the dictionary elements that is here. So if you go through the PPT, some four or five extra examples you're going to get. Refer the PPT also. And any previous assignments are there, you need to complete because this is very less for you to do in lab. All the loop assignments previous to that if else assignments you need to complete. 